Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. We're uh, diving into something that I think is gonna resonate with a lot of you out there. Yeah. Um, we're talking about super farm. Absolutely. And specifically looking at the victims yeah. of everything that went down. Right. Um, and it's some pretty intense stuff we've got. Yeah, it's- Some pretty intense source material that we're looking at today, so. Absolutely, and I think, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, we hear these stories and we see the headlines. Right. Um, but we often forget about the real people. Yeah. You know, the actual individuals whose lives have been turned upside down because of this. Exactly. And I think that's what we really want to focus on today is, you know, putting names and faces to these stories to the extent that we can. Right. Um, and just really understanding the human cost of what happened. So for those who might not be familiar with Super Farm, can you give us a quick rundown of what it was all about? Yeah. So Super Farm was this platform and it was really built around this idea of cryptocurrency and NFTs, yeah. which are like digital, you know, kind of deeds of ownership. Right, like digital collectibles. Exactly. And yeah. it, it really drew in a lot of people who were, I think, excited about this idea of this new digital world, you know, this new frontier of finance and ownership. Yeah, it was like the Wild West out there. Oh, it is. Everyone was trying to get in on the ground floor. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, and I think that's part of what made it so risky. Right. Because it was new and it was exciting and... You know, there's this promise of these huge returns. Yeah, get rich quick kind of thing. Exactly. And un unfortunately, I think that made a lot of people vulnerable, particularly folks who maybe didn't fully grasp the technical side of things or the risks involved. Right. And so when we talk about the victims of Super Farm, who are we talking about here? That's a great question. Yeah. And, you know, while we don't have, like, perfectly detailed demographics, there are some common threads that we can see in the information we've gathered. Okay. So imagine for a second, someone who's really active in online communities. Okay. Maybe they're into digital art. They like to collect things. Maybe they were even into trading cards or limited edition sneakers in the past. Right. So they're already kind of primed for this world. Exactly. Yeah. They have that collector's mentality. And then they see this new thing, you know, this new digital frontier. Yeah. And it just clicks with them. Yeah. It's like that fear of missing out FOMO. Exactly. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, and so they jump in head first. And then they lose their shirts. Yeah, and that's the thing. You know, we, we talk about the victims, and obviously the financial losses are huge. Right. But I think it's important to remember the emotional and psychological toll this took on people, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, imagine pouring your savings into something you believe in. Yeah, you think it's safe. Exactly. You've done your research, or you think you have, and then overnight, it's just gone. Yeah, it's devastating. It's like this total betrayal of trust. And that can be incredibly damaging. Absolutely. And it makes you wonder, right? Like, has something like this ever happened to you? Yeah. Maybe not on the same scale, but have you ever, you know, put your trust in something online or invested in something that just went belly up? Right. I mean, it's a question we're thinking about because it happens more than we'd like to admit. Absolutely. And it really highlights the importance of doing your due diligence. You know, really understanding what you're getting into before you invest your time or money. Absolutely. And being wary of anything that sounds too good to be true. Exactly. Because if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So where do we go from here? Well, I think a biggest takeaway from all of this is awareness. You know, the more informed we are, the better equipped we'll be to navigate these complex digital spaces. Absolutely. And to protect ourselves. Exactly. Any final thoughts for our listeners before we wrap up? Yeah, I think as we kind of step back and look at the big picture situations like what happened with Super Farm, they really underscore the need for greater transparency and accountability in these new tech spaces. Yeah. It's a shared responsibility, you know, yeah. between individuals, platforms, policymakers. We all have a role to play in making these spaces safer. Absolutely. Well said. Yeah. That's a great note to end on. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today and for this important conversation. Absolutely. And to our listeners out there, stay informed, stay vigilant. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.